Welcome back to the madness. It is Monday, Monday, Monday. And I'm not very happy. Last night I got a phone call that I had at 9 a.m. going to a funeral home. I get there this morning to pick it up. And Cher's like, what are you doing here? And I just look at her and I say, at 9 a.m.? She goes, that's a will call. A will call is when someone comes and picks it up. So, I text the person who called me last night and said, thank you for wasting my time. Next time, make sure it's a freaking delivery and not a will call. So now I get to go, at least I get to go home and cross stitch for mm, two hours. So that's the bright side, but that's like wasting gas. Okay, let's not start this off on a negative, which we already did, but what did I get done? I got um, about, I want to say 800 stitches done this weekend. Um, I think so. I can only do 400 stitches a night, which really stinks, but I find if I do any more than that, then, excuse me, I got the hiccups. Then the next day, I can't hold anything. It really hurts my hands, so the limit is 400 right now. <sighs> I'm so sick of this hand thing. But, um, you're actually being able to see the house very well now. So that's good. I like this pattern. It, it's one of those, it's fun to stitch. And before you know it, you're at 200. It's like, oh, shoot. I got a post. What are my games? Which I've quit a lot of my games. I'm basically only, and I'm thinking about quitting two more. I like the games that there's a purpose. It's like you're working towards something with people. I'm finding the ones that I do on my own. Or like, okay, or if it's too big of a group. Like, um, Survival of Stitches. I'm thinking of getting in that one up. Especially it. Um, they start this penalty crap for mandatory stitches because, uh, or events, because if there's a code word, I'm not doing it. I'm a grown ass adult and I'm in too many damn stitching games to have to put code words on my stitching so people won't cheat. It's like, who has time to cheat in stitching games? Really? Most of us, if you're in one, let's say you're in five stitching groups, or we could even go to three stitching groups, more than likely, you are going to know someone in a different stitching group. So they're going to see your post, okay, dude, stay in your lane, and say, oh, wait, no, she, she had that done last week. She posted this in this group. And who has the time to even keep track of that crap. So, I'm against code words. If you if you demand a code word, well then I'm not participating in your your events. And if there's penalty stitches for not Okay, this dude, yeah, you better get over. Um if there's penalty stitches because I don't want to do a code word, well then I don't need to be in your group. That's for sure. But anyways, um, and I left groups for little than that. One group, she was like, you need an end picture when you're moving the hoop. I, at the end, I need to see it all. It's like, okay, well, let me waste your time and put up multiple pictures. It's so stupid. People are so stupid. And 
at this point, I was in like 10 stitching groups. And no one ever said anything about me taking a picture that I'm moving the hoop and then doing, it's like, then count that as your end and there's your start, you know? But anyways, um, I guess I'm in a bad mood today. Sorry guys, I'm just dumping and venting on you guys. But like survival of the stitches, doesn't feel like you're working towards anything. Of course, each week you have to have so many wood, so many of this, but it's not like a storyline. That's what it is. I need a storyline. Like Hell's Kitchen. There's really no storyline, but you're filling orders. So you feel like you're doing something. You work as a team to fill those orders, and it's I think it's a lot of fun. Um, do I wish the time limit on the events were a little longer? Yeah, I would like to complete one event one of these days. But it's just not happening in our group. But we're still having fun, and no one complains about it, and it, it's just fun. There was only one event in that group that I didn't care for. But we still participated and did it. There was no code word, so it was all good. I think it was um, during St. Patrick's Day where you had to find out the green food, and you couldn't um, duplicate and... If asparagus was in this one, it couldn't be in that one. It was like, oh god, it was, it was a pain in the ass. But it was fun. In the end, once you know we figured everything out, it was fun. That and Harry Potter. But I love Harry Potter, so I really don't want to leave the Harry Potter group. I can just throw stitches in that limb. I want to, you know. But like stitching dad, I love that group. I even gave up um, magical stitches because you graded, well, you didn't grade yourself, but you graded yourself, and I don't know, if I'm in a stitching group, I would rather, I really like someone to see my stitching, you know, so I felt like I was just doing that all by myself, and that wasn't fun. But I loved last year's, and the year before, so... I'm not, like, getting out of the group. It's just, for right now, I'm not posted in there. It's not like I left anything or deleted anything. It's just, I think, too, it's frustrating because of my hand. I only can do 400 stitches. And I set myself so many goals in that group. And I'm not doing it. So I feel like, I don't know, it's just weird. Yeah, so there, there's my ramble. I'm going to get in here so I can start stitching. It's so much fun. This pattern is just so much fun. I know I was all over the place. I'm so sorry. Becca worked all weekend. She got called in yesterday. They ran out of bags. So they had to go next door to Five Below and... They gave them a case of bags. They went through that within like, I think she said like three hours. And had to, they had to go back and beg for more bags. I'm like, well, whoever orders the bags, I bet you they're going to double the order next time. Because how can you go to Michael's and not have a bag, you know? <laughs> I mean, no one goes into Michael's. Okay, our intentions are to go into Michael's and buy one thing. But who's really buying one thing at Michael's? Yeah, so I thought that was funny. She's like, it was hectic. So, yeah. This weekend we go and get um, Jonathan's girlfriend and moving her up here. So that should be fun. Not really, but it'll be nice to have her up here. He is so happy. Oh, he's legally divorced today. That's right. Today's Monday. Last week, he went and signed the papers, and the judge said Monday they will be legally divorced. So, just in time for him to move in his girlfriend. <laughs> uh, I was proud of him, though, to get it done within a year. Because for a while there, I'm like, okay, you guys are getting divorced, but... Are you ever going to do the divorce? 
get it started. But once they got it started, it didn't take long. So that was good. And they're still friends. It's not like it was a bad divorce. They just got married way too young. And um, they outgrew each other, I guess is what you would say. They, um, Jonathan likes to stay home. He'd rather stay home, cook you dinner, and watch a movie. Or go to the movies. But Morgan wants to hang out with all of her friends and party. And and Jonathan's just, Jonathan's more of a homebody. Let's go do something and then come back home. He's so much like his father, too. That's the funny thing. But at least Jonathan likes to go to, like, concerts and stuff like that. So. But he doesn't want to hang out for hours with someone at someone's house. Which, I mean, that's how what he was like as a child, too. He never wanted to go spend the night anywhere. He wanted people to come spend the night at his house. Now, once he got in his teenage years, he would go spend the night at people's house. But it was like not a lot, you know. They always came to... I always had everyone at my house. <sighs> okay, so I guess that's my update. The birdies are going crazy. John needs to feed up, fill up their feeders. They're quite empty. Okay, guys. I'm getting off of here. I will see you in the next morning. It is Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday. Um, yeah, so... Yesterday was still a funky day. Even once I got off of here. I think I, got, I, think I told you guys that I was called in for no reason for a pickup it just started my day off bad and then it just seemed to keep getting worse I had <clears throat> all intentions when I got home to stitch well in the morning that was and I got home and I was like nope I'm gonna play wow and then after work <clears throat> I was like nope I'm gonna play wow I just needed to zone out and just play my game and just, yeah. And my hand was killing me too, so that's another reason. But, um, yeah. <sighs> There's just some days that you just need to say, I'm doing what I want to do today. I'm so close to quitting this one. Now, I know you, yesterday I was telling you about the one I was thinking about quitting, but we started, um, so when I think it was, and I, if you guys, if you guys were here for about a long time ago, I used to mess up the group's name. I think it was Oregon Trail. Um, I remember back then I had a hard time saying Oregon, but now it just rolls off the tongue. But I think that's what the, um, stitchy. No, because it was a weird name. But it was Oregon Trail, but they... Or a Stitch Trail or something like that. I don't remember now. But, um... When that group... Um... The person who was running it... I don't know what happened. I really don't know the backstory of it. It was an awesome group. Awesome storyline. But something happened and the, the whole group just was shut down. So then we, we found this other group <clears throat> that it looked like it was going to be kind of the same concept. There's traveling and, you know, things happen when you're on the road. But it's been, I want to say it's been almost a year that we've been playing on this group. And, okay. Um... I love people who just, like, I'm just getting over. I don't care if we make you all stop. This car wanted to get over. Oh, because he wanted to be behind the police officer. Are you a bad boy? Mm-hmm. Um, so anyways. I know that could be a woman. I don't know. You see the tinted windows? You can't tell who's in there at all. Um, 
Anyways, we found this group, and it's it's got to be almost a year now. Maybe it's even been more than a year that we've been in this group. We finally, finally just got to start traveling. And this, this group would be really, really fun if you didn't have to do the, we call it the BB. It's the, um, the nightly for you to sleep at night. To, I think it was bed and breakfast or I don't know, the inn or something like that. We call it BB on our inventory chat. But it's like, it's just ridiculous. And then when someone leaves your group, like the worst thing to stitch for is a damn horse. It's like an outrageous amount of stitches. Since we started the group, we've had like, I want to say four people leave. Well, when they leave, they take all their items. So when someone else comes, even though that person might have not stitched all of their items because we stitch as a, a team, still all of their stuff is taken away. I don't know how many damn horses we freaking stitched for. But it's like you can't get any further in this game because every night you have to do like 400 stitches just to sleep at night. And it's like, I'm really thinking about leaving that group because now that we're traveling, you get to make these stupid choices like, are you going to light a fighter? A fire? Oh my God, is it going to rain? Do you want to rent tents? And everything you do costs money. And it's like... And God forbid that you don't make the right decisions because then there's consequences. Like, oh my God, you weren't in a tent last night? Well, it rained, so now you lose 200 stitches on your miles. Well, 200 might not be a lot for some people because it really pisses me off too because you can see that these groups that have like really strong stitching people who... You know, they stitch in all the groups. They get so far ahead and it's like... We're just a bunch of misfits over here. Me with a bad hand. You know, it's just like... It's not being fun anymore. And oh, it's just... The wheel of doom all the time. It's like, shut up. Make the, make the game fun. And then there's this rule that you can't have... Because... A lot of us, because we don't stitch a thousand stitches in a night, we'll keep an open post. So if we're working on miles, we'll keep it up for two or three days. Oh, well, now that's cheating because, oh, you might wait until there's a special wheel of something. And then, oh, you're taking advantage. It's like, oh, my God. Can we just stitch and have a good time in a game? It's really time for me to leave this group. It really is. And then the whole discussion about what we're doing, it's like, oh my God, do we have to vote on everything? Can't just one person say, hey, tonight we're having two watch people, we're lighting a fire and we're staying in tents. We all need to do, we need to work on this 400 stitches together. No, it's a big debate. The other night, they're like, Becky's still traveling. It's like, I didn't know we were stopping. All you have to do is say, Hey, can you stop your stitches? You know, post your end so we can pick herbs now. It's just the way that it's said and stuff like that. It's very freaking annoying. So that's why I think I, it's time for me to quit this group because it's not like getting stitching fun. And kind of, I didn't want to stitch for that group last night. So I didn't stitch for anything too, you know? Because I just wanted to play WoW and not think about anything. And that was one of the things. It's like, God, if I stitch, then I'm going to have to go on there and see what we're stitching for. And then, God forbid, if I forget to post my stop. It's just, it's a bunch of BS. But, yeah. So, I did nothing last night. But, almost talked for 10 minutes telling you that I did nothing. And bitched. Oh, my God. This cannot. I'm not a negative Nancy. This whole thing cannot be one big bitch fest. This is not the bitchy vlog. Or the venti vlog. Or 
whatever you want to call it. Okay, I gotta get in here because I'm Ooh, gonna be. Oh, and welcome back. It is Wednesday. I can't see. I can't see. Wednesday, Wednesday. I don't like this streak. I almost forgot to do the clip. <laughs> I, I have a streak going on. I'm mad. I did a clip every day last week. Well, remember, it was a short week, too. Oh, by the way, Becca's in the car. Tiny mm -hmm. bumper fish. Hello. <laughs> right when you said hello. Um, but my Thursday clip got deleted. I don't remember what I was talking about, so that's why I did that special clip at the end. Did I already tell you this? No, I can't see you. Not that way. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> okay, so. Yesterday I was a very good girl. I came home and played WoW. I told Becca, I said, hey, can we play WoW until dinner's done? And then after dinner, can we just watch TV and stitch? And that's what we did, and I did 500 stitches. 100 more than I was supposed to, but my wrist wasn't feeling. No, why is it making? Love when the GPS decides where we're going. It's such a bumpy road. Okay, where are we going? So my wrist wasn't hurting, and God, this road, I'm telling you. Um, and I did a prompt where I had to do 200 stitches. For the last one, so I'm like, oh, another hundred's not gonna kill me, especially with this pattern. I love this pattern. It stitches up so fast and it's fun. Which I don't know why others, you know, why some are good and some aren't. It doesn't make sense, but this one is really fun to do. But, so, in the last clip, you were hearing me about, um, being very negative and wanting to quit a group that I'm in. Well, the funny thing is, and the only reason I'm staying, I was staying in this group is because I had three really good friends in it. So <coughs> that that was the only reason I was staying in this group because this group has been frustrating me for well, probably what is it? This is last seven months seven months yep. since about january i've been like this is ridiculous i'm done with this group but i'm like no i have friends in here and i'll just stick it out you know mm -hmm. but then it was affecting my stitching i didn't want to come on and stitch because then i had to go in and, and yeah it's just it's just a lot of ugh. so anyways i get done with that clip and maybe maybe it was like 30 minutes later one of the people that's in the group that me and her are in there almost every single day well when I can stitch when I took my time off of course I would go in the group and you know say hey and that but um I would talk to this one person at least once a day um, the others, they're busy. One has a crazy work schedule. But when she's there, she's there. And when she's not, we understand, you know. And the other one, um, she's got a lot of things going on. So, it wasn't like, you know, how do I say this? It wasn't, the two that aren't there all the time, I felt like I'd be letting them down, but they're not there all the time, so it wasn't like I'd be letting, letting them down. And the one person who's there all the time and who was our leader of the group, I think is what it's called, lead or whatever, you know, I felt like I, well, not, okay, the head of our group, yeah. Um, I felt like I'd be really letting her down, and I didn't want to let her down. Well, she contacted me, and she's like, I'm about to with this group. And I'm like, oh, same here. So we started talking, 
And we're like, can we just find a group that's like the Oregon Trail that we were in? We love that. And like when all four of us ladies got into the chat yesterday, once me and this other person. I don't say names because I haven't asked them to say names, you know, so I hate being cryptic, but I also passed by delivery. Um, <laughs> I also respect people's privacy, you know, and of course, if I say a name, you're not going to be able to figure it out. Well, you might be able to figure it out, but you know what I mean? It's just better not to say names. Just call and press them A, B, C, D, so on. <laughs> okay. So, S contacted me. Okay, so it's right there. Okay. Um, and she was like, you know, after, oh no, okay, what was I saying? After we got into the group chat, I was like, you know, I don't mind when a game is hard. Because in Oregon Trail, there was one day, it took us three days to finish the hunt. We got stung by bees. We got, every time we checked the trap, there was nothing in the trap. I mean, there's things that happen. But with this one, it was every single day. It was like, well, how many do we need for BB? And if we do this, then we need that. And then coming back and told, oh no, you did that wrong. It's like, why do you have to make the game so damn complicated? So... I left the group yesterday, and it felt so good, and it feels like a weight lifted off my shoulder because, oh my God, even going, I woke up this morning, and what I do is I go to Facebook and see what's happened there, you know, and see if, you know, my posts have been, um, not updated, but, you know. Did my, my stitching get counted? And then I would go to Messenger. And it would be like on there for a half an hour just reading everything that happened while I was asleep. This morning I woke up, looked at Messenger, and I'm like, oh. Okay. I mean, three of the groups that were talking, but it was like... Not this long thing that I had to read. It was like, posted 500 stitches. Oh, we're close to being done. It was like, you know, two sentences. And that was it. Not paragraphs on paragraphs. And when I told Becca yesterday, because there's been plenty of times I've been in the car where I'm like, oh my God, something's going off in the group. Will you please read this? And when I told her, she goes, oh, thank God. I'm so sick of reading that chat. <laughs> like, no, it was a lot, wasn't it? But now I feel like energized and I just can't wait to stitch. But I want to play WoW too, you know. And with my hand, I can't overstitch. So that's one good thing that, oh, let's go this way. Um, I hope this is Shader. I can't, I think it is. Um, wow helps me from not overstitching. Because I can feel it's on the, the mend, but it's a slow mend. And I don't want to mess it up again and start from, oh, that just tipped over, from ground zero again, because I already did that twice. And the one time it was so bad, I had to go buy a sling and couldn't use my hand at all. It was awful. So we're being good. We have the brace on and yay. So I guess that's about it. Right? Yeah. Nothing else happened yesterday. Nope. I thought I was scheduled for today. Oh, well, yeah. We can go into what happened this morning. So this morning, um, of course, every day this week, and I even looked, um, tomorrow and Friday, I have 10 a.m.s and 9 a.m.s. 
Um, so I told John, I said, he asked me Saturday, he goes, are you picking up Jonathan or am I picking up Jonathan? And I'm like, you're picking up Jonathan. It's like, well, well, then what about Becca? I said, you're picking up Becca. And he, he was out on the road. And when he got home, I said, listen, until you start working more than one day a week, your responsibility is taking the kids back and forth to work. It's only fair. I work five days a week, and you're going to ask me if I'm picking up the kids from work? Now, Becca's different because Becca's basically a mile. I think it's actually a mile from my shop. On the same street, just on the different side. So you gotta do the Michigan U-turn. So, um, where am I going? I need 16 mile road. Um, so there's certain times that I will pick up Becca for work and take her to work. Or if she's getting out of work while I'm still at work and I can work it out, she can come with me, you know? So... Um, John was like, well, Wednesday, are you taking her to work? I said, here, if I have earlies, I'll take her to work. If I don't have earlies, I'm not taking her to work. Because it's only fair. You're basically, okay, growing up, the kids, John was the stay-at-home dad, basically. His responsibility was to get them. Now, he wasn't a true stay-at-home mom. He was a stay-at-home dad that did the bare minimum but the main thing that he was in charge of was the kids get them to school take bringing them home you know anything they had to do with school basically it was his responsibility except for the field trips and band concerts, band concerts and one stuff like that then well, I wasn't going to miss that, so I did that. But the everyday, taking him to school, getting him ready for school, all that, that was on him. He was the stay-at-home dad. Did he clean the house? No. Did he cook dinner? No. Right. He didn't start cooking dinner until we had been married for 16 years. And at that time, I was working close to six days a week and, and two miles. are you going to go or are you just going to sit there um it, it was just it was awful it was very busy and I wouldn't get home until like five o'clock we had just moved to this new store so I had a much larger area to take care of just by myself, like I do now, but I had to learn how to map myself out and learn, you know, you don't go north until you have all of your norths and just working out the schedules. And it was just so damn busy too that I was exhausted when I got home. And I told him, I said, listen, I cooked for the first 16 years of our marriage. You can cook for the next 16 years. And then by then, we'll probably be two retired old farts. And we'll just do early bird specials. Or maybe cook in the kitchen together. You know? We'll be retired by then or something. So. I know that was a big rant. But. He was the stay-at-home dad who basically did nothing except for... He would do laundry. Oh, my God. The fights. Do you remember the fights we would have? Mm -hmm. He would put towels with my sweatpants. Yep. And his, his way of doing laundry, he would wash, dry, and plop them on the deep freeze. And my clothes would always be wrinkly. So when we moved in this house... Do, or did we start it back did we start it in the old house or in this house where we each got our own laundry basket I think old it was 
Was it the old house? Yeah. At first, we separated by shirts, underwear, and all Oh, yeah, that. but he still wouldn't pay attention to that. He would still just... Then we finally decided to just separate them by person. Yeah. Especially but that... once me and Johnson started wearing the same clothes. Oh, yeah. So, yeah. But he's the main reason why we did that. Is because I didn't want him doing my laundry anymore. Because, oh my God, the fights that we would have. He's like, I was just doing laundry. I'm like, you, you can't call it doing laundry if you don't fold and put away. And you can't mix the clothes. Oh, it was awful. Because in the winter, all I do is wear sweatpants. I'm outside. So I wear long johns and then I wear sweatpants over my long johns. Because it can get to minus degrees here in Michigan. Anyways. Um, big old rant. Um, so, John's working maybe one day a week. Yeah, your responsibility is still the kids. No, they're not in school, but you're sitting around all day. You can take them back and forth to work. And, oh, today. Today's the last day that he has to take Jonathan back and forth to work because... Um, did I tell you guys that Jonathan is officially divorced? That happened Monday. Woo! Woo! We still love Morgan. Good morning. And it's Friday, Friday. Whew. We got earlies. Yay. No yay. Um, so what's been going on? Well, whew, gotta catch my breath. Um, I didn't stitch last night. I took the night off. John was sick, so I had to take both kids back and forth to work. So it was just like, I was going to pick up my stitch and then have to put my stitch in now. Pick up my stitch, in, you know. So I was just like, oh, I'm taking the night off. Um, me and Becca are watching... Because she was like, let's say, um, the app, the season we're watching, we're watching Big Brother. Um, the season we're watching now, she was probably four years old. I want to say four years old. So, um, we started this two years ago, I think. And every time Big Brother is on, then we go back and watch the previous seasons. So we're up to season five now. Which, she might be five. Because I think it started in 2000. So... And she was born in 99. So she might be five years old when this one was on. She doesn't remember it at all. But I don't really care for this season. This is like one of my least favorite seasons. I have like four of them that I'm like, oh, do I have to rewatch this? But it's okay, we're doing it. But I have gotten a lot of stitching in this week. Um. I think it was Tuesday night, I did 500. Wednesday night, I did, I want to say 400. So, yeah, and then I took yesterday off. And I forgot to record yesterday, I, I'm sorry. Yesterday, like I said, yesterday was freaking crazy ass busy so busy um I was busy at work taking the kids to work while I was working was a little challenging but it all got done so and tomorrow I get to wake up at well if we're leaving at 6.30 then I need to be up 
by seven, seven o'clock, no, seven, no, six o'clock. If we're leaving at 6.30, we're going to Ohio to get Jonathan's girlfriend. She's moving in with him. So, I'd say they've been dating for, huh, I don't know when they started dating. Everything's a blur. What I say March? Maybe late February. Oh wait, no. I think they were dating in February. I wanna say he got her Valentine's Day flowers. I'm almost, po oh wait, no. Maybe it wasn't Valentine's Day, it was around Mother's Day when he got her flowers. Anyways, what does it matter? Um, he's super excited. I just think it's hilarious. It wasn't planned this way, but his divorce was finalized on Monday and then Saturday. He meet, He's moving his girlfriend up. <laughs> uh, and he found out that his ex-wife is moving to Minnesota to be with her boyfriend sooner than she expect, which we're happy for her. We still love Morgan. They were just young and they grew apart. I can't, well, yeah, they did. They wanted different things. Let's put it that way. She's a go-getter. Likes to be with lots of people and not a go-getter. Uh, she's a social bug. And Jonathan's more of a let's stay home, I'll cook you dinner. Or, well, he'll even go out for dinner and a movie. But he wants to be home. But she was like that as a kid, too. He would hardly ever spend the night at someone's house. But he wanted his friends at his house. He just, he likes the comfort of his house. His own home. I think that's what it comes down to. So, they're still friends. So that's good. But oh my God, I'm not looking forward to waking up at six o'clock in the morning tomorrow. That means I'll basically only have one day off. <coughs> but, because it's weird. Um, Jonathan is so different now, too. He's much happier, and if this was a year ago, and it's something that Jonathan really wanted to do, and I'd say, hey, Jonathan, what time do you want to go? He'd be like, um, how about noon? Well, I asked him, I said, what time do you want to go? And he's like, I don't know, how about, like, nine ten o'clock I'm like okay and I said I don't care it's up to you he goes oh well then I'd say three o'clock in the morning I'm like what he goes I want her up here now I was like oh well if we went at, at three we would get there like six seven o'clock in the morning he was like okay, how about if we leave at six and I'm like who are you He's like, I don't know, I say, I guess you are used to getting up early because he starts work now at 7. He used to start at 8, but now he goes in early to get the stuff done. I'm like, I don't know who you are. So I said, okay, we'll say 6, but I'm telling you, it's going to be more like 6.30. He's like, that's fine. I said, you better be awake. And in a good mood. Because I told him too, I said, we'll go get McDonald's for breakfast on the way. And he goes, I will once at, I will once we have eaten. I said, well, good thing. McDonald's is only like a half a block away from your house. <laughs> it is so 
awful and he's first wakes up he doesn't want to talk it feels so awkward in the car which I mean he does, he's not a big talker at it anyways but he might because he's excited I don't know it can go either two ways he could be very excited and talkative or he could be so excited that he's quiet a weird son okay so um this is gonna be the last clip I'm sorry I missed a couple of days um well I recorded Thursday but I didn't I was so negative and so ugh I deleted it I'm gonna delete it I don't know I'll listen to it and see if I can keep any of it but I don't want this to be a bitch fest and this week's is already very negative and I'm not a negative person most of the time. So, yay. Okay guys, I hope you have a great, fabulous week and I will talk to you in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>